the capital of the Dominion, to the city of waters above the Ottawa River, come our King and his gracious Queen. Because of the delays crossing the Atlantic, the visit to Ottawa has been cut from three days to two. But what days they are! The regal splendor of the old world in a new world setting. The King visits Canada's famous Parliament building to give personal assent to new laws, a unique ceremony. The following day, the Queen lays the foundation stone of the new Supreme Court building. She taps the stone with a golden trowel. And then, before high officials of Canada and thousands of her people, she shakes hands with a stonemason who helped her. And as Canada's Prime Minister, Mr. Mackenzie King, bows towards her, the Queen moves to the microphones to speak on the place of woman in the modern world. It gives me great pleasure to be here today to lay the foundation stone of a building devoted to the administration of justice in this great dominion. Perhaps it is not inappropriate that this task should be performed by a woman. For a woman's position in civilized society has depended upon the growth of law. But the most moving ceremony of all in the great square before the Parliament building is the unveiling of Canada's memorial to her war dead, a lasting symbol of the unity that bound the Empire in 1914 and binds it still. And His Majesty's words ring out loud and clear, a message to the world. Not by chance, for the crowning figure of peace and freedom appear side by side. Peace and freedom cannot long be separated. And without freedom, there can be no enduring peace, and without peace, no enduring there follows the most amazing scene of the tour, a scene unique in modern history. Suddenly and unexpectedly, their majesties break away from their attendants and cross the road to the ex-servicemen. For a few moments, they're completely swallowed up in a swirling mass of loyal subjects. Perhaps never before have the king and queen won so completely the heart of a mighty crowd. At last the way is cleared for the royal car, but their majesties are still standing. A scene that will surely live forever in their memory and in the memory of Canada. Yeah. 